Hello and welcome to Kaleido's Clause Integration Demo. The Clause Integration is available in our Service Marketplace, which is accessible in our Environment Dashboard. You can add this integration more than once for different purposes, so you can give each a name to distinguish them. After adding the Clause Integration, Kaleido will present you with the Clause Dashboard. There are three steps to the integration. First, we need to deploy the audit contract to receive details from Clause. We will send this contract to ETHConnect for deployment. ETHConnect returns an ID that we can use in order to see if the contract deployed successfully. This may take a few seconds. The second step pulls ETHConnect for successful deployment. Once we have successful deployment, the dashboard grabs the contract address from this response and provides it in a few convenient places. The third step has a checklist of actions to take inside of clause to generate a transaction to our deployed audit contract. Now we'll switch over to clause to create a new contract. We'll give it a name and we'll add a second signatory. Clause will require signatures from both signatories before the contract is considered running and available to trigger actions. Smart clauses contain complex triggers which can alter contract values and submit information to, the, to a chain. We're looking up the fragile goods template, which discounts a contract value based off of the handling of a shipment. The smart contract template has pros on the left and an instance containing the same logic on the right. This shows a $5 reduction in the contract price for every half G shock. We can add a comp custom action at the bottom of the, uh, with the HTTP target to interact with the audit log contract we deployed in step one. If we go back to the dashboard, we double check our checklist, and then we can copy and paste the transform provided. Before we click save, let's walk through the transform. There is authentication for interacting with ETHConnect, which is a hashed version of our user credentials that were created when we adding the integration. The transform will send the data to the deployed audit contract. And we're going to send all of the content available. We'll save the custom action and request the signatures from all the signatories. I happen to be one of the signatories. It's going to drop me immediately to the signing page. This should look very familiar to anyone who has signed something online before. We'll navigate back to the demo contract that we've created and check the status. You'll note that the second signatory still has to sign. I'm going to perform that signature off screen and then you'll notice the contract still needs a few seconds to hit the running state. While we wait, let's explore the smart clause we added. There's a details link, which includes some useful information. And at the bottom, there is a link to the template library. The template library includes an example of the payload that you might want to send to the trigger function. The trigger function has to be called in order for the contract to finish and for clause to submit a transaction to the audit log on our chain. We see that the contract is now in the running state, so we can call the trigger. We look up the trigger information. We grab the URL of the trigger, and we're going to use a REST client in order to mimic the, the call to the trigger. Then we grab the authentication bearer token, set that in the header. We make sure the content type is set to application JSON. And then we copy the payload example from the template documentation. We add a few additional accelerometer readings, some of which exceed that half G limit. We use the post method to send the transaction to the trigger. And then we see that we get a payout action in return 
with a money va value of $980, which matches up with our four accelerometer readings that exceed half a G. We go back to the clause interface and review the full timeline with all of the actions that have occurred, including the custom trigger at the bottom. Let's go check the transaction on the chain. We have a convenient audit log viewer in the samples gallery, linked from the clause integration dashboard. I haven't configured my gallery yet, so we'll have to go ahead and configure that gallery. In order to configure the gallery, we have to go back to the environment and generate some application credentials. We'll copy those application credentials into the samples gallery config. And then we'll grab the node RPC endpoint. Note that if you've configured the gallery for a different environment, you might have to set these as well. We can navigate back to the audit log samples gallery through the integrations link on the environment dashboard. Don't forget to copy the contract address so that we can look it up using the samples gallery. We'll load the previously deployed contract using the copied address and you'll see that we have a single transaction. If you click on that transaction, then you'll see the details that have been sent over by clause, including that $980 value and a timestamp. Thank you very much for listening to Kaleido's Clause Integration Demo.